Good morning and God bless you on this Tuesday morning. Last Saturday, I had the opportunity and really the privilege of officiating at my mom's memorial service. And it was a, 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 an emotional challenge. It was difficult. And uh, the week leading up to it, I was really praying and wondering, you know, what, Lord, what do you want me to say for my mom? And, and what, what's going to be a word that will comfort my dad and the rest of my family as we mourn mom, who we loved greatly? And uh, as I wrestled through that question, I, I got some peace in realizing that by the time it came to the point of the service for the message, my job at that point isn't so much to talk about my mom, but to talk about Jesus. And that seemed to trigger an idea. Actually, it was kind of a vision. And all of a sudden, I had this little imagination happen in my mind of what it would have been like for my mom to meet Jesus for the first time. And I can imagine Jesus coming to her smiling and saying, Stephanie, you look thirsty. Come to me, I am the living water. And if you knew my mom, mom hated water, absolutely hated water. In fact, I mentioned in the message that uh, a few years ago, mom was sick, very, very dehydrated and literally on the verge of dying. And the doctors kept saying, you, you need to drink. And she refused to drink for days. And the only way she was rehydrated enough was through the IVs or through drinking Coke and not even juice. Mom could be stubborn sometimes that way. But I just have been thinking ever since then so much about Jesus' words, I am the living water. And in John chapter 7, where he gives this promise, I'll read you the context. It starts in John 7, verse 37. On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Anyone who is thirsty, come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. By this he meant the Spirit, whom those who believe in him were later to receive. Up to that time the Spirit had not been given, since Jesus had not been glorified. And what a promise and invitation. Anyone who is thirsty, come to me. And those who believe in him, rivers of living water will flow within them. I don't know if you've ever been really, really thirsty to the point where you're parched, to the point where you realize if you don't have fluid soon, your life may be in jeopardy. I don't think I've ever been that thirsty. But there's a certain sense when it comes to thirsting for God, searching for grace, searching for love, searching for forgiveness, searching for peace, I can say, I've been pretty desperate. And to hear Jesus' words, this invitation that he gives, believe in me, come to me, drink from me, and your thirst will be more than satisfied. You'll be overflowing with all of the gifts that Jesus came to give in our world and in our lives. And so I ask you, what are you thirsty for today? You know, God isn't going to say, go out and get me, you know, I'm going to go get you a margarita if that's what you ask for. But if you're willing to talk to God and really open up your heart and say, God, the thing that I long from you most today, maybe it's guidance, maybe it's wisdom, maybe it's truth in the midst of the world of so many lies and so much confusion. Maybe it's like I said, peace in the midst of all the stress and turmoil. You know, maybe today your sin is catching up with you and the thing you are most thirsty for is that forgiveness and grace that only Jesus can give. Or maybe it's that deep-seated foundational sense of love, just needing and wanting and desperately find, trying to find some reassurance that you're loved, that you're okay, that God is still with you. Whatever it is that you're thirsty for, Jesus simply gives that invitation, come to me. 
and to ask him specifically, Lord, these are the things that I'm thirsty for. And I love our Lord Jesus because when we say, Jesus, I, I, I need a little bit of grace today. What is it says? Rivers of living water will flow from him into us. And that river includes everything we need. We may ask for just one little thing or one little aspect of renewal or revival in our relationship with God, but God is so good and he offers us the fullness of his spirit, all the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faith and faithfulness, self-control. These are freely given to simply anyone who asks in Jesus' name. So are you thirsty? And will you ask the one who provides living water from generation to generation, to my mom, to me, to you, anyone who's willing to listen, anyone who's willing to answer, he promises to provide. God bless you on your day.